The film centres around uh, the spirit of a dead boy who um, speaks back to a woman who is grieving for her lost son, speaking to her about having died at the hands of, of someone who potentially was also um, responsible for her son's death. The things that he speaks back to her about allow her the opportunity to have a way to, to experience her own grief. That night I went to see a friend of, and there was that car, and that guy who, and I just got in. Throughout the film, we see her uh, channeling the spirit, which becomes the spirit of the missing boy. always been really interested and 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 loved the films of people like Jean Cocteau and Maya Deren and David Lynch uh, surrealist filmmakers really who who really embraced that world that dream states and that almost banal kind of reality that that um, that seemed to fit really well with with the, the character of a woman who is in that 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 state of grieving The, the, the team was really a core team of four people, myself, uh, Julie, Amy and, and Caroline Daesh, who is the main actor. And Caroline Daesh uh, is someone I've worked with for almost 16, 17 years in live performance and theatre and, and she's someone I always wanted to be involved as one of the key uh, actors in the Dead Speak Back from the outset. Have you seen my, my son? So Michael Cleggett, who, who plays the spirit of the dead boy, in the film, uh, someone who just carries that sort of ethereal uh, quality. And Miles has that sort of ethereal quality about him as well um, that, that just really uh, informed his character, really. He, you know, he didn't really have to do much apart from just be Miles in order to be the missing son. I do feel this film has potential to be placed quite strongly in an international context. Um, I hope by making the dead speak back that it's going to inspire and hopefully f um, liberate you know, other filmmakers who are struggling to make this kind of film in, in our country and hopefully to encourage uh, investors and funders to, to get behind this kind of filmmaking as well and not to be fearful of it. Thank you.